Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll take a look at your cat's whiskers and what can cause them to break off. Is it something to be concerned about when it happens or is it just natural, sort of like tearing a fingernail? While whiskers can appear to be rather inconsequential, they do serve a few critical functions. And before we take a closer look at this subject, let's first explore today's topic overview. Cat's whiskers usually break off due to natural shedding or rough play. This natural breakage doesn't cause any physical pain and their whiskers will grow back. However, if your cat suddenly loses more whiskers than usual, it may be due to an issue that needs to be addressed, such as stress, injury, or infection. So, the process of whisker loss is natural unless it becomes unnatural. It's all about visual observation on your part. If your cat's whiskers are disappearing in bulk, this could be cause for concern. Just trust your instincts on this front. However, most of the time, and in some cases for some cats all of the time, the core reason for whisker loss is indeed natural. Cats are adventurous, and with adventure comes a few mishaps along the way. Whisker loss is indeed one. In respect to something of a major nature, that would be our love and appreciation for the very best audience on the feline wing of the internet, the viewers of Senior Cat Wellness. Thank you always for your love and for your support. If you enjoyed today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the content. It is our mission to serve the feline community and do it with a kind heart and a smile. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to join us, and we do hope to see you again in future content. Now, your cat and those whiskers, what causes them to break? Let's talk about it. It's important to know what whiskers are and the function they serve, before we discuss what causes breakage. Most cats have whiskers on each side of the cheeks, corners of the mouth, the chin, eyebrow area, and even on the back of their front legs. Whiskers are very sensitive. They contain tiny receptors. They help to identify pressure points, thus allowing a cat to better identify its surroundings. The roots of a cat's whiskers can transmit information to a cat's brain immediately. This allows a cat to react accordingly based on the data received. As a quick example, Think of some vehicles, especially newer vehicles. Sensors galore. You'll receive an alert when you're backing up and are in danger of hitting something. You'll receive an alert when you're drifting out of your lane on the highway. Whiskers serve the same purpose. They act as a notification boundary. In terms of composition, whiskers are made of keratin, just like human hair and nails. It is for this reason that cats do not feel pain when a whisker breaks unless the whisker is directly pulled from the root itself. We've noted that whiskers are obviously very important, but what are some of the specific key functions they serve for your cat? Let's start with tactile sense. It's all about sensation on the whiskers and how a cat can process the information. Whiskers allow a feline to become better in tune with their surroundings. Is this a good or bad spot? Am I safe or am I in danger? Can I fit in this space? All of these things are critical for a cat to know as it makes its way across most any area. While the aspect of using whiskers to evaluate size and dimension has been disputed, there is no question that cats use their whiskers to fill out various environments, especially new and unfamiliar environments. Even something as simple as shifts in the air can provide a cat with both positive and negative information. Next up, we have maintaining balance. Not in the most literal sense, as balance control is due to a structure within the inner ear. However, whiskers can help a cat to stay level and not become disoriented. Whiskers are sensory devices, and if several break off, it can cause a cat to become a bit skittish and uncertain. This by default could result in hesitation and a lack of confidence and balance. The human equivalent would be amputation. While our arms are not responsible for our balance, without them, there would be some sense of loss of balance confidence. So in essence, it becomes a mental hurdle. And the final function we'll talk about today is body language. Whisker positioning can provide a glimpse into a cat's emotional state 
A neutral position often represents contentment and relaxation. Whiskers that are pulled forward and fanned out could be a sign of intense interest. Whiskers that are slightly back could indicate stress, fear, and anxiety. Whiskers that are pulled back in a tight posture could represent a position of aggression. And finally, whiskers that are lateral or facing forward a bit could indicate pain. When a cat's whiskers become overstimulated, the byproduct is what is often referred to as whisker fatigue. And this type of fatigue can be caused by various triggers. It most commonly uh, occurs, it most commonly happens when a cat is fed from a small bowl or a bowl with high sides or perhaps both. With each bite, the whiskers touch the bowl again, again, and again. The same can often be said for a water bowl with the similar shape and size and overall dimensions. Because whiskers are so sensitive, this repeated brushing can become stressful, which leads to fatigue. This can cause a cat to essentially take a break from life and from whisker contact in order to limit anxiety. While whisker fatigue can be rather difficult to diagnose and to prove in the most literal sense, if your cat returns to both food and drink once bowls of a wider nature have been presented, then there's a good chance that you found your answer and the problem was indeed some level of whisker fatigue. On a bit of a personal note, one of my cats rarely eats from his bowl. He'll take a piece of food out of the bowl, place it on the floor, and eat it. This is especially true when he's consuming a dry meal. While I'm sure so much of this behavior is just habit, whisker fatigue to some degree certainly cannot be ruled out. Now that we briefly talked about what whiskers are and the importance they serve, why do they break off? What causes them to break? While trimming whiskers should always be avoided and never attempted, it's important as an owner to know that your cat's whiskers to some degree will indeed break off and there is no need to worry about natural breakage or shedding. First up, rough play or just playing rough. We mentioned early on about cats and their adventurous nature. This is why it should come as no surprise that rough play is the most common cause of breakage. The other common cause, natural shedding. This is not a cause for concern unless your cat begins to shed more whiskers than normal. A few missing whiskers here and there, even for a rather docile feline or a senior feline is perfectly natural. Next up, we have stress. High tension and stress can promote whisker loss in a fairly short period of time. Keep in mind, stress is just a symptom, and that's why it's critical to find the root cause. Changes within your cat's environment or some measure of illness could be to blame. Monitor your cat and act accordingly. If your pet begins to display signs of lethargy and atypical behaviors, a trip to the vet could be in order. Next, we have injury and trauma. While rough play is often part of a cat's life, especially during those younger years, there's a fine line between a rough adventure causing whisker loss and that of an injury or trauma to the face and head. If your cat has suffered some level of whisker loss due to a blow to the head, make sure that whisker loss is the only result. Keep a close eye on your feline and make sure that the trauma experienced hasn't caused some level of physical injury that requires a professional evaluation and treatment. And the final reason for whisker loss that we'll be talking about today involves infection. Skin infection is the most common or are the most common culprits, ringworm being the most common. Please seek expert care for your feline if you feel that an illness and infection is responsible for the whisker loss. Always remember that outside of natural shedding, whisker loss is always a symptom of something else. If you're concerned about your cat's whisker loss, please take the appropriate and positive actions. And on that note, they will wrap things up for the video portion of today's material. However, if you'd like to know more about the topic of whiskers, your cat's whiskers, and what causes them to break, please be sure to head on over to SeniorCatWellness.com. At the conclusion of today's presentation, there you will find a high-quality article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. You can find it all by clicking the initial link in the description box below. And once again, if you enjoyed what we brought to the table here today and would like to see and hear more, please like and share this video and subscribe to the SeniorCatWellness.com official YouTube channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.